my character name, the one I portray when we ever do reenactments like this, uh, is Ricardo Sanchez Solano, just an ordinary private. Let me tell you about uh, a little bit about what I'm wearing and uh, what its sort of significance is. Uh, well, let's just start here with the hat. Very, very often uh, people assume that this, the tricorn hat, is a pirate hat. This actually is the baseball cap in the colonial period. It started out as a military hat, and the reason it has three sides is that when a soldier went to fire his gun, the lock is here, so if the hat, it was a round hat, so if the hat came over the lock, what would happen when he pulled the trigger, he'd burn this side of the hat. So they began by cocking this side. And then when they started doing military drills and the soldiers are marching, they have to carry their gun on the left side. So if you're gonna put your gun on your shoulder, you can't have the round hat out this way, so they cocked this part. If you're going on a long march, you carry your gun across your shoulder and droop your arms over the top. So that results in the tricorn. As I said, it begins as a military hat, but people said, hey, that's cool. And so everybody, civilians and military, started using it just like the baseball cap today. Now this cockade has significance. This is what, this is the only part of my uniform that tells you I'm Spanish. Red was used by Spain, black was used by Britain, and white was used by France. In fact, if you see our British colleagues here today, you'll notice that they're wearing black cockades in their, in their hats. The waistcoat, this color, this is a waistcoat. It's uh, basically a short sleeve coat. The thing that's comparable to it today is uh, the vest that men sometimes wear with their suit. And then the breeches, these are actually, they come here, I've got them covered up now with uh, my gaiters, which were actually what was used uh, when you out, went out on uh, patrol. Uh, so actually what happens like today, the breeches combined with the gaiters eventually become our long pants. Uh, and then our, my shoes are, um, are buckled. Uh, instead of laced or tied. They did have lace shoes as well, but uh, the more common thing would be for having a buckled uh, shoe. This shirt uh, is actually my undershirt. This is my, what I sleep in at night. And that's why in this time period, no s decent man would ever go out in public without his waistcoat. It would be like today if you went out uh, to go to Publix uh, in your pajamas. <gasps> the people would be <laughs> staring at you and pointing at you.